government, uh, government efficiencies, um, a case of point is um, the Firearms Licensing Division, which uh, last term of government we, we had a disallowance motion on some massive fees that were, uh, were part of a, a cost recovery program. Uh, that disallowance motion was supported by the then opposition, the Labor Party, and a couple of uh, Liberal members in government had crossed the floor on the issue. It was a, a fairly significant issue with significant rises that put us way above other jurisdictions. Uh, there was a parliamentary inquiry on those fee rises, um, but it was found that the, uh, the cost recovery was substantiated, but on a very inefficient and a very clunky system. So uh, despite millions of dollars being spent on a new processing system, which includes not only firearms but, uh, but liquor licensing and pawnbrokers, but predominantly firearms, um, that's been in place for about 18 months, the system is still no cheaper, the system is still no more efficient, and I get complaints constantly about inaccuracies on firearm licences that have been issued and on their details. There's also been a recent policy change, particularly on transport, uh, and Australia Post, which is unnecessarily impacting on the industry. Um, I had a, an email today where uh, one firearm uh, dealer is closing his doors. He can no longer continue because of a lack of supply. Conditions have been put on uh, carriers. Those carriers, there's only some, there's only about 13 that's been proposed that actually will carry uh, firearms or are approved to carry firearms but most of those are only basically in the city. So a lot of country firearm dealers are now finding that they are not able to get stock um, and those businesses are, are right on the verge of, of failing unless something's done very, very soon. Um, this is a particularly a, a problem for primary producers out in the regions. 